Behold, trapped in a hellscape of their own invention, socially unaware old white men bound by the pretense of being fake lawyers yet knowing no law, no exquisite Latin terminology, they are inexplicably compelled to quibble over minutia, squabble over triflings and bicker like those who value their backyards far too highly without even knowing the difference between an easement and an alleyway. At this very moment, you have entered the heart of the law offices of quibble, squabble, and bicker. Let's get started. Welcome to another episode of the Law Offices of Quibble, Squabble, and Bicker on this October 6, 2021. And we have a very special guest today. His name is Billy Skeels. He is a, 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 an Army veteran and uh, also a woodcarver, truck driver. And he is a uh, also <laughs> apparently Don't forget also, that. also a masturbator. I'm glad you... <laughs> Glad you added that. And uh, he may or may not stick around when later on we deal with our get, our client for today. Our client happens to be Evacuate Your Mind. And uh, we'll talk about that about halfway through the show. Check. But right now we've got Billy Skeels on, who is a man of all trades perhaps and perhaps none. I'm not really sure. But I, he did tell me at one point that he carves the heads of like, or he does carvings of like Spider-Man and other things. Um, so... We we actually connected via TikTok, which is kind of why I'm doing like the live thing on TikTok today, is uh, to give a, a recognition to that. So, so Billy, um, why don't you tell us why you wanted to come on our show? Because so, I'm still not quite sure well, what caused you to be interested in this. <laughs> so, well, the whole thing uh, with TikTok kind of started. Um, I um, I have four boys, and you know, all, it, it just seems like everybody's always either fucking looking at me or talking about me. So you're why talking about not, in general, not, outside in general, of TikTok? You know, yeah. So I'll, in yeah, general, this, in life, was, yeah, people are was, looking at you and talking about you. Yeah, this was before, you know, before TikTok. So, I mean, I started TikTok beginning of June, I think, or something. Uh, my one son just kept bugging me about starting it because we have a YouTube channel. And um, and, and so, like, we, I would make video, YouTube videos. What's the name um, of your channel? Uh, so it's Billy Skills. I mean, if you search Billy Skills on YouTube or TikTok, or, then you you'll uh, you'll find me. Uh, it used to be a house full of boys, and it's kind of like uh, kind of like finding you guys. A law offices. It's really hard to find you guys on on the internet, and it was hard to find a house full of boys. So I changed it just to my to my name, so that it I'd be easier to find. Uh, just um, a quick comment from TikTok. Yeah. They said that you're. Only an apprentice baiter. You have not applied for your union master status. So, I don't know um, what that means. Well, TikTok is, you said you were a master baiter. And they oh. said that you were merely an apprentice. So <laughs> yeah. here we go. We've got, yeah. We've yeah, got tons know. from TikTok coming. I'm an apprentice of many, but master of I, none. Oh, I started right. Googling uh, a house full of boys and I got some questionable search results. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll yeah. get a bunch of like cartoons. Like there's, there's cartoons and stuff up. Like I said, I mean, I changed it all to uh, from a house full of boys to my name, Billy Skills. Um, it's like the but, dark web. It would, uh, yeah, it would be like totally ahead. about sodomites or something. But I I just kind of um, said one day, you know, yeah, like I said, everybody was, but I love baseball. And that's kind of, I just want to get out, get my name out there and start coaching baseball is really what I want to do. You want so to really, coach what like are people uh, saying about you when what they, are, everyone's talking about you? What are they, are they saying good things? Not, not normally. Um, he doesn't know what they're saying, Greg. Well, That's what the song says. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, I. Uh, well, I teach my kids: don't believe anything you hear, and only half of what you see. So it's kind so of. So if like, they were to know, believe that, then they shouldn't believe that statement. You've created yes. a paradox right well, off the bat. Well, well, you're exactly right. I mean, because like you don't, you shouldn't believe everything you see. Uh, that's for sure like you know you see like uh, a drag queen you don't know if that's a woman or a man necessarily you know what i'm saying so like um, oh i do you you shouldn't believe what everything any you only should believe half of what you see wait should you believe believe half or or like a half of a half well i mean i'm currently identifying as a squid so (laughs) Does That's anyone, right. you see me, but do you really see me? I thought you were squid, actually. I thought, why is a squid on our show? It's he is Brendan. in full squid garb. I'll, I'll what happened to Brendan? Head. Brendan's gone. <laughs> Brendan Only is squid no longer today. with us. It's merely Squid Boy. Hail Hydra. Squidsworth. <laughs> that is something I don't understand nowadays. Like, people, 
I heard somebody introduce themselves the other day and then they said something about their pronouns. Like, I don't understand what all that means. So you don't know what a pronoun is? A squid, a squid, oh. well, all right, smart ass. I, but I don't. Oh, <laughs> but welcome I, to I, the I, show, I, Billy. He's I, a smart I know, ass. right? I, I know, but I don't know what, I mean, have you ever you introduced you guys yourselves at something like that? Have you ever said, hey, my name is, you know, um, no, I live in Florida. Um, no genders down actually. here are are optional. <laughs> in Florida, they go by either squid or octopus as their pronoun. Squid, octopus, or crocodile. Don't or crocodile. Them. Or sorry. alligators. Like, uh, yeah. you know, and dolphin, whatever. if you live near dolphin. the bay. Yeah. This schoolhouse rock could clear up what pronouns are for us. It's and, button, or are your pronouns, Greg? No, those are conjunctions. Those are pronouns. Those are... <laughs> Conjunctions. That's the whole joke for crying out loud. Oh, the joke. Right. Yeah, okay. I, I, explain I, the I work joke. On it's that. not funny anymore, though. No one said that anything I have ever said is funny. No, you've said funny <laughs> things. How have you said it, Greg? I guess you just did. So I'm lying, yeah. apparently. I so. try to be funny all the time, but I'm really bad at it. Oh, I think you're great. Yeah. So far, you're doing fine. I do have a question as to why your shirt isn't off, though, Billy, because most of your Why TikTok you keep... videos. He does. What? <laughs> there there we go. You... Look at that. He's cut. Why did you want him to take off his he shirt looks, so bad? I, I was expecting name. it, though. See, oh, I he's got, got a my... tattoo on his back. Too. I got my last name on my back. Is that but so never, you don't forget so it? Or forget so it. Yep. so other people I, won't I, forget it? I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. So I don't yeah. forget it. I have tattoos of left and right on my feet. So I, got a, I got a tattoo, but it's hard to show. And I got Mighty Mouse. Uh, I got, I got. Oh, cool, I like that. That's a he's, good tattoo. He's got like deformed eggs on his arm, is what That's Brendan cool. has. Yeah, I've got weasels. Because <laughs> on the weekends, tattoo. on the weekends, I identify as a weasel. Now, Billy oh. has sent us a bio of lots of really interesting things, and um, I had a couple of questions about it. So, when you, at some point, your parents owned a restaurant called the Village Skillet. A village skillet, yeah. And you yeah. sent that to me. Um, what, was there anything in particular about the village skillet that you wanted to uh, talk about? Um, no, just the name. I mean, I, I uh, anybody like were you conceived in a skillet? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was conceived in Baltimore. Oh, actually. I was oh, actually well, in Baltimore just two days ago. Yeah. So even though I'm in um, Oregon right now, but Baltimore. Um, yeah. But the most, you know, like. Uh, you talk about my bio and owning the restaurant. Like we just had really bad luck uh, with fires and stuff like that. Maybe that's why I talked about it. Cause like the, when the restaurant burnt down, that was like the first fire. Oh, and, the restaurant then, burnt down. Oh, you didn't say yeah. that the restaurant then, burnt down. So, you so talking about then, you're following three houses burning down. <laughs> and then my house. And then so freshman year, we move into a brand new house and uh, the, um, the fire uh, department was on the street next door, but our street was so new. They didn't know where we were. And our house burnt down all the way down, like nothing left. Do you think God was punishing you for masturbating so much? <laughs> like Joe? Like, yeah, I was a freshman. I hadn't started. I tried a lot, but I hadn't I hadn't actually gone yet. I remember freshman year, that was like, you know, you try, try, try. You're like, what the hell is wrong with me? I got hair, but nothing's coming out. And, and then finally, <laughs> one day, it's just. Thank you, Greg, for bringing that back up. Yeah. Oh. And then, um, but, and then junior year, my buddy. <laughs> He breaks into my house because we always used to just get really stoned and eat fried food a lot. So he broke into my house, went upstairs, uh, turned on the fryer and fell asleep next in to In the it. fryer. Uh, not, not in the fryer. <laughs> Wait, so uh, your friend breaks... Hold on a second. Street, you're, you're, if you're out there... Your friend yeah. breaks into your house and starts your fryer? Starts my, yeah, because that's he what we used to do. We, we would You'd break into each other's houses and start your fryers? <laughs> I, I, I'm getting triggered. I lost a whole lot of relatives to calamari. This is really upsetting to me. <laughs> that's what it was, shrimp, too. <laughs> oh, no, um, it's seafood. Oh. Yeah, shrimp but, is in calamari, though. But, so you know, because you know. we, we owned a restaurant, and so, like, we would have fried like food in our freezer we'd always that's just what we made i mean in high school you'd have fried food in your freezer before you fried it or after you fried yes. it. yes so it's do not really fried have, food if I, it's in your freezer i mean do i have to explain everything to you like that yes you're, you're yeah. only if you're, what, you're only know, if what you're saying doesn't make sense to, yes yeah okay I, i'm totally trying to get sense. things sequential but sometimes things don't add up to me it's so if you're saying food in your freezer before you fry the mat 
They're yeah, pre, it's pre, it. it's well, obviously I know, but I wanted to confirm, food. though, that it it's was fried before it went in the freezer. Yes. It's pre-fried It's pre-fried food in his freezer. It's yeah. pre-fried, it not fried, though. See, if you're well, it was pre-fried before is... it was frozen. Se I wish so I could put 75% my cigarette of us got it. Right now. <laughs> I just wish I could just put Three out of four of us got it. We just got one that didn't get it. I'm wearing glasses, Greg. Your cigarette will not go through my glasses to burn my eyes. Right well, okay, let's get back to Greg. the fryer. So you're okay, so, so, so he breaks friend, so, so, broke in your Dave, house. So the friend David breaks Street, in the house. David Street out there. Uh he I love the kid to death. But anyway, he and then he passes out. Like so he turns the fryer on, passes out, yeah. and then he, the cops had to carry him out because they the, the 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 firemen and everybody's trying to wake him up as the fire is going right behind him and he's <laughs> Out. So, like, so wow. he turns the fryer on, falls asleep, sets the is it the kitchen that went on fire? Or what got on fire? Yeah, he turns it on fucking high, so so then it starts boiling because it's not a fryer at that time. We didn't like uh, there wasn't fryers like uh, it was just a pot with it oil was a in pot it? with oil in it. Yeah, well, that's yeah. not a fryer. That's a pot well, with oil. Yeah, <laughs> but it fries. It can fry. But, I mean, I'm not mad, but technically that's a whole I'm different kettle yeah, of yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah, it's no. much more dangerous. Much kettle more of dangerous. squid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah stupid, listen to I the never, squid. I know frying. I, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we don't cook like that anymore. You know. Remember the. All right, so he didn't stove. turn on your fryer. He turned on. A, <laughs> he turned on your stove. A, a stove with oil on and it. it yes. And the stove had oil, but I'm assuming there's like a pot on the stove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just yeah, oil so. on the stove. No, I. Okay. And we established so, that, you, Matt. Keep up, my, would you? I'm trying to. I'm very confused. My mom's whole arm. Greg is takes, triggering me because he's lighting goes, oil on fire. My mom grabs the pan and tries to run it out because the pan's fucking flaming you know flaming. so she's running it out the door and she's got she had burns all up and down her arm oh. from the oil but she's no, no, wait, wait, time out, time out. But she's, she's running out the door with the with the pan of oil and it's fucking shh, like so it's fucking starts all like so it goes from the kitchen all the way out the door and she like spread the fire all the way out the fucking door but, but so your mother but made Steve, the fire worse. But well, Steve, I mean, yes. wait, but Steve miraculously laying on the ground is not harmed. He's by not anything. on the ground. He's on the couch. So oh, it's, it's, what it's, an it's, asshole! Because it's all open, you know. So we got the kitchen here, and then we got the little dining room, and then the, uh -huh. the living room's here. So it's kind of. But he's over here in the living room. The was kitchen. he drunk or something? Why? No. Yeah, so why did he? No, he was just he was really, so really tired. I just <laughs> Who knows? We came home from parties. Yeah, it was high school, so we would just get fucking obliterated, like stupid. Uh, I don't even drink anything. Yeah, I wouldn't call that smart, actually, no, but no. certainly stupid. Yeah. But all right, so the guy comes in, he turns on a pot of oil for no real reason. Then no, just he was to turn obviously going to make some food. He's hungry. Yeah. yeah, he had the munchies. But you got to think. Okay, what what is what is the most? Uh, how do you predict somebody's future actions? You guys don't know. How do I? How to predict runes? somebody's future? Uh, crystal ball, of course. Mystic no. runes. No. Yeah. Pre Tarot. Their, their past. Sage. Actions. Their previous your, actions. How to predict but, past how, actions? No, how to predict. That's called a book. What you the predict hell how are you somebody's going to act in a situation by by how they've acted previously. Oh, got right? it. Okay. So, right. So, so, so I'm so never he, having Steve come over to my house. So no, his, don't let Steve in your house. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's got the 16 year old man, you know, boy brain. Yeah. He, he, he's been drinking. He says, All right, we, we always go over to Billy's house and eat food after parties every single night we do this three times a week i'm gonna do it tonight and that's what he did but he did it by himself and right out. it was a pattern yes well yeah i mean it's yeah obviously but tiktok I mean, says like, that's a fifteen thousand dollar insurance claim so my question is after this whole you know shenanigan what conversation did you have with this guy like dude <laughs> What 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 yeah, possessed he, he you to burns come the hell out of your mother? Burns your house down. Well, okay, so I mean, uh, me now, I I would totally you know um, act differently because I'm but all back, about, but like, that, I don't try to change people. Like if people want to be a certain way, like and if I, they want to burn your house down, let them. Well, if he just wants to, he knew he messed up. I mean, yeah, I, there's that's no point. Good. In, that's there's, good. No, there's no point in you know, rubbing it in. I mean, he was my, my friend. Like, I was with him all the time. There's, I, I didn't want to lose that friendship. Um, because you wanted him to so, burn other things down. No. Later. Yeah. But, so, but, 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 more, 
more important things, you know, um, than that, than, uh, you know, that house. I mean, I, I, I wish I still had his friendship. I mean, you know, are you and Steve not close anymore? It's Dave. Uh, he just Dave, sorry, I kept calling him Steve. Dave. <laughs> I thought it was Steve because uh, you kept calling him Steve, but it's not <laughs> Dave. A, it's I have Dave, Steve, everybody. Steve Niederreiter. He's another friend. He's, uh, yeah, I mean, he was around that time, but. And he burned down your garage. <laughs> no, 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 no. Steve burned down Dave's house in retribution. He no, went he over. Guys, like, <laughs> okay, I have a friend, That's Zach Freeze, that he, we were, re, uh, he left my whole roof open and. And it got waterlogged and like we were replacing the roof. Thank okay. you for explaining that. Fire and, and water. And, and, and I let and, and and I was a dumbass and went on vacation that was already planned. Anyway, he was Well, it's good to, that you had to plan vacation because unplanned work vacations on it. are just weird. He was supposed to work on it and he left the whole roof open and it fuck and it rained really bad. So this guy was working on your roof and he didn't cover the roof when there was rain coming yes yeah and and i and we had taken off all the where was the he fire. when your house was on fire because you know <laughs> well, combined I, I the roof you know but could have put out the fire <laughs> um, Billy, i, I gotta friends. say you gotta choose your friends better you got some bad friends i don't have any friends anymore I, well those friends were pretty bad i mean they were like frenemies or, well, well wait a minute so 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 dave was the one that burned the house down and steve was the one that flooded it yeah. Zach, Zach is the one that flooded. Zach, you ever, flooded. Oh, I didn't mean. Okay, Zach is new. Is a new character in the, <laughs> story. In the drama. God, did you have a friend who like put your house in front of a mudslide? Like all the elements, the four elements. Every friend used Wind, different elements water. to destroy your house. Our powers combined. I am Captain Planet. Oh. <laughs> it was a tornado. So uh, later on in your bio, it also talks about how you stepped on a basketball and broke your ankle. Now, I have to say, it's a little tricky stepping on a basketball because you have to lift your foot up a little bit of a distance, yeah. more so than your normal walking, unless you're into, like, frog marching or something. That, uh, if causes you're playing you basketball, though, that can happen. You're running for so, the basketball yeah. and you misstep. Well, I, I, yeah. kind of I was that. at the Y. I was at you the stepped y. on an actual basketball, Greg? I said, yeah, I, 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 I didn't break my ankle, but sometimes I was chasing it and I like missed steps. You know, I kind of stumbled and I hit the basketball though. I okay. technically stepped on a soccer ball when I was playing soccer once because I was, you know, like like you were saying, I was like running and I was high stepping and somebody kicked the ball and it hit my foot and yeah. Right, well, I can do that with a soccer ball because it's a foot playing sport. It happens though. Yeah. With a soccer ball. Basketball, basketball can happen too. And, and I can see. All right, I can see it happening now. I have had to explain. Sorry, have you ever been to the YMCA or like a gym where there's a lot of people playing different uh, on different hoops? I don't know okay. if you've noticed. Matt doesn't go to the gym a lot. Okay, no, like <laughs> I'm not taking my shirt up to prove what it either. Zinga. <laughs> so I, I was running for the ball and I stepped on a different ball, not the one I was running for, but a different yeah. one. All right, that and makes I have, sense. Yeah. And, and a loose so ball. I have no, I have no cartilage in my uh, ankles and in my feet. My, like, they don't move. Um, I walk weird and it's just, anyway, I didn't find out until I was almost 30 that I had this. But there's days I can't walk. Like, I, I have to crawl. Um, like, I was trying to get, like, this area ready yesterday for this podcast. Uh -huh. And like, right. when I woke up this morning, I, like, could hardly walk. Um, yeah, you've got a lot of stuff going on in the background there. You've got yeah. uh, for your banner of House of the Boys, lots of T-shirts up there. So, yeah, those are all T-shirts I've made. Did you make those? Yeah, I made all these, but this is my probably my favorite one. Though. Oh, right. Uh, what then, does that say? I don't know. It says, all I don't know. Let's. Then. Oh. Uh, all righty then. You is know, that, that like time. your favorite saying or something? No, but you guys have you guys have never seen um, uh, when he's. Uh, that T-shirt before. Dolphins. Um, I can't see the picture. That's the problem. Oh, it's uh, who is it? It's somebody with a lightsaber. It looks like. Uh, speak, Billy. Uh, speak. I, oh, it's Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. I got it. Oh, Ace okay. Ventura. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes, I've All seen right. Ace Ventura, but it's hard right. to know yeah. that if you can't see the you know, picture. Yeah, my bad. But that's your I'll favorite. So, that's do you favorite. like model your life after Ace Ventura, the pet no. detective? Is do you go out solving crimes involving animals? <laughs> no, no. This is what my part? son. He's on a. Your I, son is a box. 
Yes. Oh. No, but this is him. Wow. This, this, this like is a, my, my he's nephew. He's a diaper, mo diaper model. That's very nice. He, my yeah, nephew is a computer mouse. Oh, shut Here's up. my grandfather. Billy, <laughs> what part of the country are you in? I'm in Ohio. Ohio. Which part of Ohio? Toledo. 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 We've, Toledo. We've dealt with a number of people from Ohio on our show. It's happened yeah, a few Toledo, times. Though. The white rhino oh, that, was from, uh, was he from Cleveland? I think it might have been Columbus. Columbus? Okay. Right. Ohio, and then there was that other guy. the best. We do definitely produce the I, best. I just I want to say for my Portland people, Ohio and Florida, we're pretty close. Ohio is pretty much the Midwest Florida. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> That's where I, Ohio man lives. I think yeah. Billy might be Ohio man, actually. And then I have or at least like his friends are. Years. Ohio man burns down house. <laughs> yeah. Ohio man forgets to put the roof back on. <laughs> I made that thing for our 20-year reunion this year. I, can you guys see it? Uh, it says SV200. Uh, You're bicentennial? Uh-oh, he's taking the headphones off. He won't be able to hear anything we say. All right, first of all, it looks like he's Irish. He's got an Irish shirt on. It says he's a coach. So he's related to Brendan in some way. Yes. SV2001. That's, we're all, that's we're a related. giant rock. Or something, or was that a wood carving that had yeah, your uh, number on it? Is that something that you created? Of, it's a, it's a man. It's like it's a tree a big, stump. Yeah, it's a tree. That's exactly what it is. But this uh. is for our twenty year reunion. Thundercats. Um, we're all gonna sign it. Uh, cougars. Southview Cougars. Cougars. Okay. But Not thunder, gonna, thunder Cougars. We have our twenty year reunion. The Thunder Cougars. So I'm gonna take that and have everybody. Cougars, so you graduated um, high school in two thousand and one. Man, I feel old. <laughs> Yeah. Let's not talk about that. Just... Can I just interject, guys? Um, no, just, no, Greg, are you can't. Squids that wall wide? Like, Brandon, you look very, your squid looks very wall wide. Do squids look that googly off center um, of their eyes? You know, you know, that's racist. And I'm not even going <laughs> to justify, I'm not even going to talk about Greg with his anti squid rhetoric it's coming out specious. once again. It's not oh. racist, it's specious. <laughs> oh, are 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 all uh, uh white people blah blah or you know African Americans <laughs> oh, yes. are all good at basketball? All white people are blah blah. And and yeah. squid's eyes are googly, huh? Jesus. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> hey, I, hey, can I bring I wanted to bring something up though. Uh, yes, that's yes. why you're here. Bring um, up whatever the hell you want. So um why um my friend with the squid hat on likes to use a certain R word. And, oh, uh, oh! Finally, how, how, how someone is, takes him to totally, task. Totally oh, is this wrong. why? Is this why he's on the show? This no, I didn't. Show. I did not even know hey, that this hey, was going to be brought up. Like, I, talk, I started that talking to him in like June, and then you guys booked me for a day, and then had to change it. So yeah, no, that's not why I'm on here. But no, I heard I, you guys talking about it the other day, sure. and it's just uh, you know, um, I used to use it like it was. Like I use gay, candy, you know, like yeah, you, know, you use gay and retard nonstop in the, you know, at, at that time. I mean, nonstop, was, like I mean, no other words, just those was, two. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, okay. or fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, still like, use okay, but that's just uh, that's how I used to talk, you know. And then um, I realized, and I got told by multiple handicapped people that it, it really offended them. Now, I say. I have never, I don't know what it feels like to be offended. I've never been offended a day in my life. What yeah. you say may piss me off, but being offended is a mm. choice. You choose, I want to be offended. That's the only reason why anybody gets offended is because they sure. want to be, they choose to be offended. Well, same so, with thing with being pissed off though. That's also a choice. Yeah. Well, if, if you're mad for more than five minutes, then you're choosing to be. That's what I tell my kids. If you're mad about uh, something for more than five, five minutes, minutes is an interesting just, arbitrary time period, but okay. I'll get pissed off. Uh, but, you know, you get you get triggered by something and you're just temporarily upset. But if you'd like decide that you're going to be pissed off about that all day long, yeah. then yeah, you're choosing that. Now that's, that's well, strong, then being offended takes the same criteria as well, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Choose, yeah. You could be offended be, yeah. instantly and then go, okay. Yeah. But, so what if a shark like, killed my girlfriend? Couldn't a I shark? be mad at the shark for longer than a day? Well, oh, buddy, you can I'm be mad choosing. at it. It's, that's your choice. I, I, I mean, like, uh, you can choose. Yes. That's you, uh, here, here he goes. You here he goes. Greg is, Greg is is exposing how, you know, anti-sea life he is <laughs> in what he just said. <laughs> you fucking underwater people things. 
<laughs> you people, you things. You thing, yeah. I, I had to comment a... on Greg's facial hair today. Today you came out of looking like some cavalier from the 1700s with the facial hair you have today, Greg. Forsooth. <laughs> All right, so. Pull stop. out your rapier and duel, damn it, duel. Stop. No, no, Billy wanted to say something, I think, yes. directly to the squid. So I'm, yes. I'm listening. I'm, oh, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, it's uh, a squid, just, squid education I, going on. I, I, um, you know, I, I, I don't, I just wanted to give you my opinion. That's because right. you, you, you're, you're a grown ass man. I'm not going to tell you how to act. No, I'm not. I'm, um, I'm immature but, as shit. But, no, but his I know ass that you is have, very you grown. It's a grown ass life that like to tell you what to do. So yeah. that's not me. Um, I, I just wanted to tell you that it is, you should take into consideration not to use it because. And why should he take into consideration not to use it, Billy? Hmm. Because it's kind of like saying the N-word. Right, but it's not. Um, it, well, it, it's it, not it is a medical well, condition. It's it a, is it's to them. It, it is to special needs people. Right, but, but, but Billy, I, I, first of all, I totally accept what you're saying, and I've yeah, listened yeah. to these two guys lecture me about it before, <laughs> and I kind of just use it as a, as a point, which is this. Um, if I, if there was my neighbor across the street, literally right now, his son, adult, an adult son who still lives with him is mentally handicapped, um, still lives at home. He bags groceries at the local grocer uh, that I go to all the time. I would never in a kajillion years refer to him say as it, retarded yeah. or yeah. say it in front of him or yeah. say it to his parents. And if I said that to someone and they said, hey, you know, my son is mentally handicapped, I would be the most, uh, I would yeah, yeah. just, yeah. So, but to, to start to say that if, unless you have a handicapped child, Billy, to say that the four grown men can't say the word retarded is a little bit oh. nonsensical. Yeah, no, I would never, and, and I would never tell you that, that you can't. Say, right. Okay. But um, my, my aunt is, um, she's 50 years old and she is still taken care of by my 80 year old grandmother. My grandmother has kept her, um, and, and never, I mean, she went to high school, but other than that, she's never had a life. Like, and she is severely handicapped. She's um, Well, I'm sorry for so, that. And so, I would never so, say that in front of somebody. But, that, and I get that. And, and, but he'll and say it behind think, her back I don't, at I don't the drop of a pin. I think you would say it to some, saying it to somebody is totally different. But because of your platform is all I'm saying. On this platform, I wouldn't want to use that word because it, because you have a platform, is it? It's just because there are people sure. that that look up to you, and and no matter well, there's what no you one think who looks are, up to me. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm. Uh, but, well, Greg is currently looking up to you. Well, okay, but you know what, Billy? All, that, all of that, all. all of that is is well taken and understood. And that was just my opinion. Like, no, I, and that's, that's totally all I'm fine. trying to do. And and you know, and uh, I, I just the other day, um, he so. One of them, one of the guys said to you, he said, you know, you should just consider that. And I just thought that's awesome because he's not telling you what to do, how to do it. He's just saying, hey, and I love disagreeing with somebody because it's okay to disagree. It's sure. like, like, let's be an adult and have an adult conversation. Please change my mind. If I'm wrong about something, tell me, please right. tell me respectfully because I want to be better. I want this to has it been a public service announcement for Billy Skeels <laughs> to help difference... Brendan not to offend retarded people the anymore. The big difference here is that, you know, the N-word was always just a hateful, evil word. Mentally retarded was the common word. It's a kind word. It's just saying you're a little slow. You know, well, you actually, problems. Greg, I would no, say saying... the N-word didn't start off being a hateful, evil word. It was merely a... Uh, cha an inability to pronounce the word, the word Negro, and they like... They southernized it to the word yeah, that it became, like and then it became people. more of a hateful thing because it was then used as something to de to define somebody other than who they are. But as those people hated black people, though they were enslaving them, so they. I don't, didn't like I don't think in the beginning they hated them. Oh, I, I think, think they, they probably did. did. I don't think it was a hate. They enslaved them, Matt. They, they thought they weren't even human. <laughs> well, you know, they, but they, they didn't they think they were them. human. That's they, not hate, Greg. It's different. It they changed the hate later. They okay, what I want they... to say though, guys, if I just mentally retarded was the medical term, it was it's always going to become pejorative. Whatever word you come up with to say that handicapped, some people say, Don't call me handicapped, I'm handy able, or you know, what I mean, 
it's it's it's, it's not a good or thing if you're greg you're able like with your hand <laughs> i'm very able with that i'm good at that but i'm just saying that's why i think it becomes a silly thing where every 10 years of my life it's like no now there's a new word now they're special call them special so you've that got issues go that with. five times in your life things have changed because it's happened every 10 it's years not an you, issue, said. Which is so you like, can't stop, handle stop, like change every five stop times Retarded the point, is the point that, that Matt is work? missing is that, Greg, that once we start redefining the English language and once we start deciding what words are good and what words are bad and who can say what and who can't, and every day you get a new definition of what is proper, yeah. and it doesn't happen every 10 years, it's happened every six months for the last three years, practically, um, the problem is we start to get a little bizarre and i think more importantly we get to start we start to get more divided now we're defined by words and not by to argue about yeah the yeah, only point i'm missing is the top of your hat brendan and uh i would really like to see it if you could if you could like lower your head down more because i knew there was a point up there somewhere if you're being a squid there it is so, oh, yeah. you know, so now i finally that, got the point that, anyway out of everything you just said what he heard was, I can't see his tip. <laughs> <laughs> That's all hey, he heard. Hey, that hey, whole thing Matt yeah, always hey, wants to see a guy's tip. Matt, after, <laughs> after the show, if you want to see my tip, I'll show it to you. It was the I'm point I was missing, and I am no longer missing the point. All right. So, but you are missing, you are missing the tip. And, and that's Billy what we squids guys. do best. So, Billy, what do you, we haven't even asked Billy, like, Billy, what do you do? Like, I don't what do know. you do, Billy? Like, what is your do, line of work? Think? How do I make money? What is your job? Yeah. Well, okay, sure. so well, so I, um, I I delivered bread for ten years when I get out of the military, and then I got my CDL and I started truck driving. Well, um, and then I had so I had four boys, and I while driving the truck, my my. my it was my, my boys were failing. Uh, uh, they were not becoming who I needed them to become, what I wanted them to become. And so I quit and haven't worked for th four year, three years now. Um, I do, I am a disabled veteran. So. Um, were you is, disabled while you were in the military? Did you get disabled yes, later? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was in Iraq in 2003. Um, and. Were you front lines in Iraq? Uh, yeah. Didn't do, I mean, I was front lines, but I didn't do a lot. I mean, we were up there. We were three, we were there three days before the war started. Did so, you ever have to fire your weapon? Did I? Yes. No, but okay. we, I drove a truck. So did I hit how, people? How old are your boys? Did you hit people with your truck? You, you hit people, yeah, with, like so deliberately hit people with your truck? Well, okay. So at the beginning, um, okay. We'll go with hit people with my truck. I was going to talk at, about at the, the kids. At the, at the beginning, you ride through towns, and, and they have these million-dollar highways. And then you look 100 feet off, and it's fucking shack houses. So, uh, um, But you're driving. And so at first, they would try to send people out to stop our trucks. And then they would bum rush us. Like, if, if we stopped, 100 people would jump on our trucks and fucking take everything. Oh, wow. Um, and, and so eventually we just had to go and they started sending younger and younger kids out there. You know, um, you can't. Uh, they were you sending look, women. You look in your mirror and you hope and you hope you see, you know, you hope you can. You mean that. you mean they were sending younger and younger kids out to attack the trucks? No, just to, to get us to stop. Yeah, yeah, they would send out yeah, these yeah. children. Like, so, so yeah, because we're driving, driving, and then so they, you don't see anybody, and all of a sudden a kid runs out, and he's like, "Well, you have to go." I mean, because you would stop, and you uh, you get all your shit stolen. So, right. Um, wow, that's rough, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. So, um, anyway, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. All right. Well, that I'm sorry for bringing. I'm sorry, down. Billy. That sounds. I was going to say thanks, Matt. So, how old are your kids, Billy? Um, Let's talk so about kids for a second. Charlie, Charlie is my oldest, and he is 13. Oh, okay. Then, uh, uh, Harrison Dean is um, 11. Henry Macklin is um, nine, and Franklin wow. 
Franklin Callahan is uh, six. And are they all truck drivers like you? Oh, I hope no. They're all baseball players. <laughs> A lot better than I was, too. So Nice. So you're starting your own team. You planning on having like five more boys to have your own baseball team? Uh, no, no. You got to have sex to have. I'm a guy. No. And they all have to be similar ages. Matt doesn't understand sports. Right? <laughs> I don't know if that's yeah, obvious. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, my kids are very good. A lot better than I than I was. Um, I uh, there's a lot of things that I do with them that I that I do because it they you know it wasn't done with me. Um, I graduated when I was 17. I didn't get my license till junior year. I fucking hated it. So all my kids, I started them when they were a year older. So all my kids will graduate at 19. They'll all get their license freshman year. Like shit like that, like that I mm -hmm. do with them, that I have done with them because I fucking hated it when I was growing up. So all your you kids know? are living with you, not with your mother? Uh, so we still live together. We all live in the same house. Do you uh, live with your ex-wife? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Finance How does that reasons. go? Um, it goes. Okay. But I mean, obviously, you guys get along well enough for you to live in the same house with her. Yeah. Well, or no, do you but... like spend most of your time talking to the fish behind you? <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Well, I'm in the basement and she's in the, she's upstairs. Like, are you so are you allowed people. out of the basement? Only on Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> and that's so. when they yell out, get the gimp. <laughs> yeah. Right? I, you yeah. know, I, I, I've been married 30 years. I don't know. I, I live. I don't. I work and live upstairs and you know, they're downstairs. It's not a bad deal. <laughs> and on Saturdays, he gets to come downstairs. <laughs> uh, Saturdays. I, I, you know, yeah, I get to come downstairs. Uh, if I Saturday, want. Now with Saturdays and Sundays that nobody, I, I usually have five or six TV set up now and it's football. You know, looking at Billy's hair, Greg, I think you should get that style as opposed to that tuft you have on the top of your head. Whoa. I see that? I, this I'm is all like braided. Work. I, I'm going, <laughs> I um, for the Viking, I, I started That's growing fancy. this out. Like, I got the tattoos and started growing the hair out. You want to grow like a Viking, but your shirt says that you're Irish. Well, that's our baseball team. It's it's my oh. coaching shirt. So I wanted to just, you see? Oh, okay. uh, yeah. So are you the head coach of the baseball team? Um, no, I am um, an assistant coach. I'm okay. the best. I, I am by far the best baseball coach for kids, hands down. And I would love anybody to come and test me on that well I, apparently I, you're the assistant coach i'm gonna do it right now no, but that's not but i mean I, I mean i don't have my own team for one of my kids because of financial reasons that's the okay. only reason why i haven't had them yet you know, like i have my you have own to team buy it better just takes, players well it just well, takes it takes a lot and you have to be financially sound to get other to take other people's money you know yeah. what i mean like yeah you're not gonna, i mean the I coached my kid. I coached my kids in uh, little league football. I have two boys, two girls, two boys, and uh, for 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 the two gentlemen who one doesn't have kids and two, I guess, didn't have kids who played sports. Um, you know, it's political. Oh, like who's the my town? Oh, who's the who's the head coach? Is is has absolutely nothing to do with with skill or knowledge of the game. Um, it has to do with who's been there the longest. Who knows who. Who's, I, who who played who played in that league when they were a kid? Oh no, it's very very. Political. This is a travel team though, um, so it is a, a a little bit different. But like you know, I uh, two years ago they wouldn't give me a team, and I you know at the time I asked um, the guy who's you know in charge of everything. He said, Billy, you coach one way, and everybody else coaches another. And I said, Dan, thank you. He said. No, that's not a compliment. <laughs> I said, uh, yeah, it is. Cause there's only one winner. Like, you know, like there's only one fucking champion. Uh, I don't want to be like all of you. I don't like, I, I just, I don't want to be like everybody else. And he hated the fact that I am not like everybody else. And, um, it, it's taken a while. What's the biggest them. difference between your coaching style and other people's coaching styles? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, um, I, well, I mean, because you're the I, best I, I one. So what makes you that. better? I can't. What? Oh, what makes me better? Yeah. Um, that I am. Uh, I actually made a video about this. I'm a repeater. Like I repeat things uh -huh. to the kids. Um, I have never. There's never been 
anything in a game that I was coaching that wasn't my fault. Mm -hmm. Everything is my fault. It's not the kid's fault. Like, I don't ever blame anything on them. Um, I mean, that's probably the biggest thing because. So in other words, you don't yell at them, that type of thing. And Well, I. I I don't say that. I won't say that because I am okay. very loud. I'm very, <laughs> I can be, you know, uh, but I, I don't yell at them. I yell to them though. And I make sure they know that. How do they know the difference um, between yelling to and yelling at? Well, because I let them know at the beginning of the season, how I am, the type of person I am. And, uh -huh. you know, I tell them how tone is everything. Tone is everything. I could say, you know, fuck you. And you can think I want to fuck you or, you, you know, I will, uh, or, you know, I hate you depending on my tone. You well, know, we lost saying? Greg for a bit. And then we've now lost Brendan, Brendan so I don't yeah. know what the hell is going on with my co-hosts. I guess it's just the um, two good-looking guys. Greg's got his audio off. Well, there's his face, but he's, his audio is off now. You can and hear Brendan's, me, right? All right, now we can hear Brendan, but we can't yeah, see Yeah, I was Brendan. just quiet because I was listening to our guests. That's right. how it works. It's when just he that talks, I... I don't talk. No, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Let me let me figure that out. Give me a second. Know, it's just that Greg disappeared, and then you disappeared at the same time, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on here today. We we are actually having a secret meeting behind your <laughs> back, Matt. Yeah, to they're your about overthrow. to depose me. Yeah, and they're going to hey, take hey, over. I did want, and I, but uh, so how I found you, you know, or you found me was was through that backstage app, and so I, um. I actually got a couple things. I, I'm going to be in a movie in uh, January. Um, we're shooting in, um, in like in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. Oh, okay. Um, That's not too far from so, Toledo, right? Yeah. And I don't know what it is or even who or all that. So you don't know stuff, the movie that you're going to be in? No, I don't know. But I just know, I just know that I got a part in, I mean, I've never done anything like that. Oh, well, like, cool. I, I have no idea how to. Well, I've been meaning to mention for a while that we hit the halfway mark on the show, but that was about 15 minutes ago, and we kind of got a little sidetracked. But uh, is there anything in particular that you want to promote? Anything about your YouTube channel that you want to tell people how to go to, or your TikTok um, videos? Or so, yeah, this is your this is your opportunity to give web links and what have you to people. So, uh, Billy Skills, B as in boy, I L L Y S K E E L S, Billy Skills. Um, you put you Google that and my stuff will come up. Um, uh, TikTok, um, I do a lot of different things on TikTok. Um, not all my shirts are not all my videos are with my shirt off, um, but I um, I try to give advice and try to you know put myself in other people's shoes um, and um, just try to be better and learn so basically just looking up billy skills s-k-e-e-l-s -E -E that'll get everybody to your stuff right yes yep cool yes. all right well that brings us like i said to the uh the middle of the show so we're going to now um move on to our uh our special food segment for uh, Brandon's today. trying to fix his walleyes do you notice that <laughs> he's he's looking at us all anyway so uh this is uh, food is for eating. Food is for eating. Food is for eating. Food is for eating with Waspy Soda Pop. Hey there, I folks. Love this guy. With summer rolling into fall, it's the perfect time for a refreshing non alcoholic drink anyone can love. So today on Food is for Eating, we have a lemon lime spritzer with a zit twist. With your ingredients, you want to get one quart of sparkling water. One quarter a cup of fresh squeezed lime juice. You can use your hands or you can use one of them squeezers or you can put it under your foot. Or if you've got two really big butt cheeks, you can use those. You also want to get a quarter cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. So that's lime juice and lemon juice. That's how you get a lemon lime switcher, spritzer. I sometimes don't know what I'm saying. You want to get one tablespoon of coconut nectar or some other sweetener of choice like stevia or hell, just get sugar. And also you want to grab one 16-year-old boy who makes bad diet choices. It's best to get one that plays Dungeons and Dragons. These are very simple instructions. So in a large pitcher, you add your sparkling water and your lemon and your lime juice as well as the coconut nectar. Then you want to grab that 16-year-old boy, you know, the one who makes the bad diet choices, and you want to squeeze two or three large whiteheads into a teaspoon, and then you take the teaspoon, you tap that into the pitcher, you stir it, you pickles. serve it with ice, and oh. you have the perfect lemon-lime spritzer with a zit twist 
anyone will love. Mmm, mmm. This has been Food is for Eating with Waspy Soda Pop. My pleasure. A zig twist. Food is for eating. Food zig is for eating. Food is for eating with Waspy Soda Pop. Zig twist. What the fuck were you thinking? And you're sober. Hey, by you the way, up with that. You, cold when you guys sober. were talking about uh, reaching your asshole, like uh, I, what? I definitely pulled my, I pulled my pants down, looked in the mirror, and checked to see if I needed to do it. You guys, I don't know, a couple, couple episodes ago, you guys talking about bleaching assholes. <laughs> So you don't remember oh, that, do you? Yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah. <laughs> well, I must have been really drunk that episode. Well, okay. I remember that. And that's when he had his lemon lime spritzer with this. Was that our client that week? Pinching assholes. I don't think it. No, he said bleaching. Bleaching asshole. Bleaching you were to, actually, it was Greg was talking about it. Like it's a porn thing. Anyway, so oh, bleaching. we're, we're actually bleaching. need to be talking about our clients. <laughs> we're going to give a lot of uh, not much attention to today, apparently. So our, our client for today is evacuate your mind. And this is something that Greg has uh, chosen because it's the forefront of his mind is evacuating it, I believe. So, Greg, why don't you just go ahead and take the lead on this one? Because I don't know what we're talking about with evacuating. You know what they say: evacuate your mind, and your bleached anus will follow. <laughs> anus will follow. But no, it's basically we wanted to talk about drugs today. And I mean, you say pros, we, but you wanted to talk about it. I think we. You've all been do. wanting to talk about this for months. Drugs. Because drugs are a much maligned thing, I think, in our society. They're like, oh, the evil of drugs. But I think mankind, or I'm sorry, humankind. What about we me? We need drugs. We need we need booze and drugs. We need to escape reality and evacuate your mind sometimes. I don't That's know if they're against drug use. I think they're against drug abuse. In other words, the uh, the overuse of drugs that harms just people. Just say no. Or, just say no. We grew up with, you know, it's just like, yo, you take one joint, you'll be a junkie in a um, year. You know, like we grew up thinking, like, if you just try drugs, you'll be a drug fiend. And well, with year. many people, that has turned out to be the case. People who don't have that kind of discipline, you know. And I've gotten a if, lot better with my drug use. Um, yeah. When I when I was younger, I just got fucked up. Now, just level. Well, you, you know? said that you. Um, died or you OD'd on something, right, so, Billy? Yeah. Um, so, and the reason why I know the date was because my one son was born um, three days before this. And I, um, well, I had gotten, I'd been in a bad accident and I was on MS cotton, 60 milligrams of MS cotton and the fentanyl patch at the same time. They gave you cotton, like cotton balls? <laughs> MS cotton is morphine. Is is oh, it's morphine. Pill, morphine pill. It's like oxycotton. Oxycotton, yeah. I cotton. Mean, but yeah, Not it's cotton. the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And so, um, it's like if you filled your pillowcase with cotton, it would be much different if you filled. It yeah, with I'm cotton. really glad you're filling in those details. Can we yeah, get yeah. yeah. story? And so, and so, I had never try, taken Brandon, Xanax before. Uh, well, I got home from work. I used to deliver bread, so 12 hours. Get home, I was always just rip a couple thirties and I a couple of that. wait wait what's rip a couple of thirties mean um 30 milligram percocet percocet okay. is yeah. that the same as the ms cotton no. uh different okay different and so anyway I I I ended up snorting the Xanax too and I had never taken it was only only point like or it was two of the point two fives which is like the really small ones and Usually, I mean, well, you, it shouldn't do anything. It shouldn't like um, hurt somebody normally, and it because of the mixture, you, you should never mix. Um, so you're you saying know, you pills. did what you weren't supposed to do? You mixed yes, Percocet mixed, and yes. Xanax and my my I, I, I ended up and I woke up three days later. Oh, um, in the oh. hospital. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. Why would you snort Xanax? I did yeah. just, just take I never it. heard of that. Well, when you're an addict. And you start snorting things, you snort everything. I mean, do you, oh, do you feel like when do you, you feel like to, what is it? Is it is it is the do you get the high quicker if you snort it? Because I don't it's know. like I'm not, I don't want to promote it like that. Well, I'm not promoting is, it. Greg, Greg well, wants know, to promote I, drugs I, today. I, I That's would, the show I, today. I, I would I do. Um, 
I would I would answer any. I, I just don't. Um, yeah. Greg is all anyway. about causing new addictions today. That's what the show's about. I, is Greg wants people to get high well, and to I stay want high. To take LSD. That's what I wanted to talk. Well, about. I, I was just curious. It doesn't really. last as long, but it hits you harder quicker. Right. The reason I ask is, uh, you know, clinical, not whatever, um, because at a certain point I was very much into LSD, um, and there's only some blot or acid you can take. So I used to buy it in the vials and drop it directly into my eye. Yeah. So I thought yeah. maybe it was a similar kind of thing. Now I've um, heard of people doing that. So what's the benefit of dropping it right in your eye, Brandon? Um, it's normal, yeah. Normally if you take a, you know, hit a blotter acid, you know, it might be 30, 40 minutes to an hour before you really start to feel it. It has to right. go put it right stomach, in your, Matt. Yeah. It you put it right in your, system. Let him uh, talk, Greg. Sorry, I was, I was he's answering he's answering the fucking question I'm shut done, the fuck up dr dr pedix will explain um <laughs> it goes Gilgit. it goes it goes directly into your eye and for whatever reason somebody told me this i wouldn't have figured it out on my own it's like 10 minutes and you're like full on because i know you've done that kind of you've done those but you drugs. have certain like, receptacles yeah i just like, did blotter like i never your tongue, put in the eyeballs like uh -huh. underneath your tongue and stuff is the same way uh, as like your eyeball. I mean, there's like uh, parts of uh, where it'll hit you quicker. Yeah. So what's your most like, fun drug story, Billy? Like before fun? you did really bad things yourself, when it was fun, what was the fun thing that you did? Because that's what Greg wants. I'm an, I, I, I don't, oh, well, um, I mean. Before you were like so fully drinking, addicted. Well, so drinking, yeah. uh, I, I, the one time, the one time I drank and drove, I, was driving down the street and was that one time in quotes uh, yeah yeah that's what i told <laughs> my one kids time. the one and only time i ever <laughs> did it and um so i was like oh yeah i'm gonna pretend like there's a car chasing me i'm gonna fly down this street i flew and forgot that it curved at the end and ran straight through the meat the, the the island and i like we went out there and measured I blew my tire, but I couldn't fit my car between. You should never do that to a tire. That's like that pornography. Again. Like, I don't know how I fit through that like spot. Anyway, a car shouldn't fit in between. You're that. supposed to be telling a fun story, not a near death story. Well, no, that was just like, uh, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. That Did you ever have good. anything positive come from any of the drugs that you took? That doesn't sound fun at all. No. <laughs> um, no. Billy, do you know what fun is? Is it part of your life at all? Fun, yeah. Okay, just check yeah. it. Because you've been doing, there's a lot of sad stuff that's happened to you, and you've brought us down quite a bit with many of your stories. Mm -hmm. So we need to get out of the morass that and the hell that is your life and move on to things that are more your life, which is <laughs> well, the fun things. So well, take my shirt off again. <laughs> you can yeah, take apparently off Matt <laughs> is just happy when you're shirtless. At this point, really. yeah. that, Actually, I'd be I, happy if all of you took your shirts off. That's what I do when I'm uncomfortable. Just take my shirt off. <laughs> uh oh, here it goes. No, it's too cold for that. Yeah, if you guys want to go Florida. viral, let's do it. Everybody take their shirts off. <laughs> As you they know, know this... that will never happen in this screen. <laughs> It, it'd all be a lot better if we all just took our shirts off. You know? <laughs> right, right coming off. And if we were in LSD. So, Greg, did you ever do LSD? A few times. Yeah. I haven't. In quote quotes. A few times? No, I didn't do it that many times, to be honest. I if you did. guys ever come to Ohio, bring some. <laughs> I want to try it. Well, I, I stopped doing all of uh, those types of things in 1990, so that wouldn't be happening on my end. I haven't done LSD in a long time, no, it's, but it's I love it. It's definitely over 30 I, years for me. So. I thought it was a very, drugs, though, are so much it's a good drug when you get older. Yeah. Cause like, I, I mean, I always liked the drugs that I was, were able to control myself somewhat, you know, like, that's why I don't like to drink. I just get obliterated, you know, and can't do anything. Uh -huh. LSD, you just like, you, you know, learn things. It's almost like you. <laughs> Yeah, so on LSD, you definitely learn things like the floor doesn't well, exist. Mushrooms. I, I've had some of the best experiences of my life on mushrooms. I mean, mushrooms. Mushrooms are a yeah. Mushrooms are a totally different deal. I've had bad GI that. issues on mushrooms, so I didn't learn much except having to go to the toilet every. You said years. GI issues. I thought you were talking about the army for a second. There, <laughs> no, I like whenever he does LSD. mushrooms, suddenly soldiers <laughs> come to his house and go, "What the hell are you doing?" But LSD was like, it was it was I had. 
I definitely learned some shit. And I'm not talking about like, yeah. oh, my sneaker, my shoe talked to me. Did God talk like, to you, no, Greg, when you were in LSD? It was really shit that lasted past the trip. Like I get weeks what you later, mean, yes. I still remembered what I learned. I what did like, you learn, Greg? Um, maybe I, not to hate myself as much as I did. Yeah. Uh, like I'm Apparently not only that went away as odious. <laughs> no, I, I hate myself a lot less than I did when I was 18. Oh, okay. I, if you could imagine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it, just certain things. It, it really is an enlightening drug, and of course, you can have bad trips. Luckily, I never did. So I, I never had, had a bad trip either. I think it just came down to people's personalities. You know, there's a show, a uh, TV show out, a new show out that day. Uh, she's um, she's giving them all LSD. She's making them high. In when the, you say uh, she it's, and they, it's, who are you okay, talking yeah. about? Okay, so it's um, he's using pronouns, um, Matt. I know, is, and I don't know what those who, are. Man, I I don't know names. So who is this woman giving LSD to? Okay. It's, it's Beyonce. It's, it's Beyonce. Beyonce. And it's her backup it's, dancers. It's and she's giving LSD to Katy Oliver. Perry's backup dancers <laughs> as a prank, <laughs> and it's called. Fuck You've been Beyonce. You've been Beyonce. Yeah, it's a whole new thing. <laughs> You've been dosed. Oh shit! You know what? I totally That's forgot. What it is. Dose. They say we dose. were supposed to have a sponsor for today. We never got the sponsor because he was wearing a squid hat, and it totally distracted me. So, are you ready to do a spot? We need a we need a fake sponsor for today. We do because uh, how are we going to fake pay our bills? Yes. Our fake bills? Yes. All right. Let's do a sponsor. Since you asked, uh, yes. Where is it here? I, okay. I would hate to like let your hard work go to waste. All right. So we're ready. Yes. All right. So today, our baffling bullshit is brought to you by our sponsor. Holy shit, I can't believe that's legal. <laughs> that's right, folks. There are many imposters on the internet, but only one. Holy shit, I can't believe that's legal. Made of only the most suspect ingredients, which will never be disclosed for fear of extradition. Holy shit, I can't believe it's legal. Is a full diet and immune booster that comes in a powder and when mixed with olive oil, Looks like baby diarrhea. Mm -mm. Tastes otherworldly, like the toxic slime dripping off a xenomorph. <laughs> Why buy and drink this foul crap, you may ask? Simple. It's currently being hawked everywhere you turn by muscle-bound millennials who, thanks to one fucking viral video, are now influencers. <laughs> you won't ever eat real food again. Try holy shit, I can't believe that's legal today. Ask now and receive your 5G-resistant butt plug free with a year's supply of holy shit, I can't believe that's legal. Don't let the deep state get deep in your ass. Get your 5G-blocking butt plug today when you order. <laughs> Operators butt plug sexual are or standing is it, by. Or is it so you don't shit yourself? What is a butt plug? <laughs> All I know is obviously that would have fit more into that whole anal bleaching thing from earlier. Yeah. Um Somehow it brought it all around. I didn't know how. It did. It tied I everything hope the girls, together. I hope the Girl Scouts aren't downstairs. <laughs> I hope so, too. I hope, it, and if they are, that they didn't learn something from that either. Mm. <laughs> so, all right. Um, is there more to discuss regarding our client for today, which is uh, evacuate your mind? We haven't really touched on it much other than we could, uh, Greg uh, wanting ask, people to do LSD. Uh, Brendan, tell us your funnest drug story. I, I'm sure it's going to be good. Funnest. Funnest. Um, like something hmm. caused you at one point to want to start dropping LSD into your eyeballs because you enjoyed it so much. No, not necessarily. Just when you took drugs, how much fun did you have? That's what, what I mean. The there must have been something that caused them to want to do it more, you know. Is what yeah, I'm you know, Maybe. it's it, it's hard to say. I mean, one of the things about it is that um, mm -hmm. you know, in in Seattle in the eighties, you were you were you know. It was really a heroin scene. It was a lot of people that did heroin. And I just couldn't get into That's it. That's not fun, is it? No, it's not fun at all. It's it's no. expensive, and it, you just look dead. And for five bucks, blotter acid, you'd be you'd be out of your mind tripping balls for like ten hours. I mean, I yeah. was like, this is the best dollar for dollar drug there is. You pay so, five bucks. Yeah. In the eighties, I was paying three bucks in Tucson. Well, how dare you, Greg? <laughs> Sorry, uh, you got ripped I off. mean, cost of living in Seattle is higher than Tucson, probably even That's in the true. 80s. No, but, it was, yeah. but um, I don't know. I can't, you know, there were so many different times and they all sort of bleed together. There were so many different times where, uh, you know, I, I felt um, kind of like you were saying, I felt like I understood something that I didn't totally understand before. 
And it sort of opened my mind to a lot of different things that I probably wouldn't have thought about. Um, Did in it terms last of, after the trip was over? Like yeah. a week later, you still like retained yeah. a little? I yeah. mean, a little, sure. I mean, not, you know, there were definitely like, it was cosmic at the time. And then later I was just sort of like, mm, okay. But um, yeah, I don't have a particular uh, amazing story. I remember, this isn't an amazing story necessarily, but I remember one story that stands out in my mind is I was in my room and I had those big, uh, you know, 80s, 70s-esque speakers. And I was listening to, I don't know, something, Pink Floyd, Black Sabbath, something. And the speaker morphed kind of into like a, kind of like a Daffy Duck sort of character. <laughs> and I remember sitting there staring at it going, no, 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 no. And then 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 the it started like kind of swaying to the music and sort of like talk. And so, you know, what you do is you get up off your bed and you tackle <laughs> Daffy Duck. Of course. Because he was so defending up, you. Yeah. So I tackled the speaker take it to the ground <laughs> and and in my mind i've got daffy duck about that point the my bed door opens and my mom is standing there and she's like what the hell is going on in here and <laughs> there was that moment where i came back to like presence and i'm like hugging the speaker and i'm like i needed to listen to it really close for the music you were like i'm sorry baby i'm sorry tackled him. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, daffy I, duck was I, my friend I said, I don't like this song, Mom. <laughs> so I had she to take you? out the speaker. <laughs> I don't think she believed me, Billy. I think she just sort of slowly closed the door like, nah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not even going to get into this. <laughs> did, did your parents talk to you about drugs? Did they know that you were fucked up? Like, no, I, I never up, did. Yeah, I grew up a single mom. Um, she worked all the time. I was, you know, an 80s latchkey kid. I didn't really have any... My dad, to speak of. my dad found a joint in my coat pocket that had been there Ooh. for weeks that I'd kind of forgotten it was there. And the only reason he found it is because he was going outside and decided to borrow my coat that particular day. And so I'm upstairs in my room. And this is, I think I was in ninth grade or something. And um, I get, I hear from downstairs, Matthew. And I'm like, oh, I don't know of anything recently that I did wrong. <laughs> I'm like, so what's going to happen now? And I come down. And he's at the kitchen table, and he's got the joint and a, as a, and a razor blade, which he has sliced the joint open with. And he goes, you want to tell me what this is? And me, being the moron that I was at the time, I went, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, do you know what we do with sailors? Because my dad was in the Navy. He said, you know what we do with sailors we found with this? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> He goes, we put him in the brig. He goes, what do you think I should do to you? And of course I go, I don't know. <laughs> he, says, he goes, I'll tell you what. He goes, the next time I find you with something like this, we're going to go out into the garage. And you can have the first punch if you want to, but I'm going to beat your ass. And I'm like, okay. And so then I learned to just be more careful with my pot. That was the lesson I learned from yeah. that particular um, beratement from my father. <laughs> you know, the other thing you could have learned is I need to figure out how to make the most out of my first shot. <laughs> <laughs> I never even considered fighting my dad. I was never really a fighter of any kind. So that wasn't really something I was went through my mind. It was more like, how do I avoid this? I, I also, I should have learned that next time, just smoke the joint that you have as yeah. opposed to leaving it yeah. in your coat pocket. That's a better that. idea. What a waste. Yeah, it kind of was. You know, but I, you know, I was in ninth grade, so how good was it really? So with the pot I was buying. Interestingly enough, uh, my I began my foray into illegal drugs in Washington State as well. So you guys still smoke pot? No, like I said, I stopped all that stuff in 1990. So I had like about uh, uh, nine years of uh, drug use before I ended it all. I don't consider smoking marijuana drug use. So I you don't think marijuana I, is a drug? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, is um, as much as booze is. is, is it, well, booze I think it's as much of a drug as caffeine. Yeah, or as the you know pill you take for your high blood pressure. 
or, you know, whatever. If I could get the same effect out of my blood pressure medication that I did from pot, I wouldn't have any resistance to taking it. Then why don't you take pot anymore? Uh, Just because I lost my short-term memory and I thought I wanted to get it back. (laughs) And and so, and also my IQ came up a a bit after I stopped doing marijuana too. So I was glad to have that happen. I'm telling you, if I could, if I could stop taking blood pressure medication and 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 do pot, if that had the same, I'd be on, I'd be on the pot. <laughs> I'm on a different kind of pot these days, and it usually mm. involves flushing. Anyway, so I want to. <laughs> All right, Billy. So before we end off, because we, we're definitely uh, over our normal yeah. allotted time, um, tell us again exactly what you want to promote. Any Spider-Man heads you want to sell? Um, you know, your YouTube channel, your TikTok channel, your, um, I don't know, water channel, channel water. between. Yeah. Hands. So <laughs> Billy Skeels, B I L L Y S K E E L S, um, on, uh, YouTube, um, on TikTok. Um, and, uh, I don't really know. I just, um, want to fucking get myself out there and, um, help people and okay the, um what uh, billy if i can help just to understand yeah, yeah, yeah. what what what's that main what's the main purpose what's your main message that you want to get out on social media whether it's tiktok or youtube or whatever um well i mean so you know your guys is um the the white rapper from last week said all parents are pieces of shit he said, all, he, like, I, he said, I'm a piece of shit. Like he's a parent and all this. I don't agree with that. That is mm-hmm. my main message is that all parents don't have to be a piece of shit. And like, even though most of them are, if you intentionally parent, you can totally change lives and not just your kids' lives, but like other kids' lives. Like, and, and, and like my kids come home and, and always, t- everybody at your school is always talking about your chick socks. That's all they do. Well, uh, and, and, and it's, you know, some of it's good, some of it's bad, but I tell my boys, they're talking about me. Like, they're not going around talking about his parents. Like, you guys, that should help you, like, use that. Like, uh, you know, um, so, yeah, I, I just, uh, you need a parent with a purpose. And that is, if you can, if you do that. So you came on to be the opposite of Twism White Peace, is what you're saying. No, you no, no, be the no. One. I, <laughs> No, in defense I, I of Twism White Peace, I think he was just saying that facetiously. He was just being. I think yeah, he's I just think saying he's that, parent. that parents have some bad qualities well, and that you try to overcome those. Yeah, he was. He is not a piece of for sure, like you said. He's a good um, parent, but he's like a piece of shit because he's not rich. He can't send him to college, but he he's doing the best he can. He cares well, about. I don't kids. think that's what he so, meant. I think I think he meant that he's a piece of shit parent, like because he doesn't talk to his kids, i.e., about drugs, or he doesn't talk to his kids about this, or he doesn't. He's not involved with his kids about. Like that's what he meant was why he thinks that he would be a piece of shit parent is because he's not as involved with his kids as 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 he would like to be. I I, I think you know. What I, I, mean? I will disagree. Okay. Yeah, I think he misinterpreted think he his message. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's with his kids a lot, but he just doesn't have the money to give him everything he wants. He wishes he was richer, so he feels like a piece of shit because he can't, you know, buy him a pony. But he says also, he also said that like there's rich guys who don't even talk to their kids. Greg, They're on rich. the other hand, is a piece of shit parent because he never had kids. Right. No, so really he's the worst parents, of all parents by not having kids. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the middle ground on this and say that you know, uh, twism has a certain uh, viewpoint about, you know, I'm a piece of shit as a parent. And there's some, you know, there's some truth to, you know, all of us don't live up to the standards that we think we should. But I think going to what Billy's saying is that you shouldn't have to, you know, like I know parents who are so fucked up because they're not as cool in their own mind as their parents were now twism doesn't that's not the case with that guy no (laughs) but there are people (laughs) right there are people who judge themselves uh by their own parents and that's kind of a bad idea too so yeah because you know parents are pieces of sterling the squid has spoken 
if you have good parents though that could be a good guiding light you know like my right? dad was amazing yeah and i like, if i ever had a kid which i never will i would love to be as good as my dad you know and that's like, what makes you a piece of shit parent because you could have been a good one you could have been a good role model for one greg and you chose not to you chose to let that light out of the world I and let it just been. die with you I oh, wouldn't God. have been, I'm not as good as my dad. I'm not as smart and good. So I would have been a shitty parent, but. No, Greg, I would have you tried would have been, to. Be. Hey, it's not, it's not that you're not as smart or whatever. I, I bet your brain just works differently than your dad's. And it has nothing to do with all that other stuff, but you don't think like him because your brains work differently. And no, but like, my dad was a really a kind time. man. It took Even me a long time smart. to realize that though. Yeah. Like that, that, that people don't think the same way they just they they don't do it that's and, true and if anybody and, watches this episode they'll definitely figure that out <laughs> that none people, of us think the same way and we people all think, think that everybody thinks like them yeah you know yeah. right yeah so. we're proof that that is not true <laughs> yeah. definitely proof as evidenced by whenever yeah, Greg I can't think like says that i'm drunk when i'm not drinking I don't so know. no i know you're not I'm saying I'm amazed at the things you come up with because you're sober. Where <laughs> they're weirder than anything I come up with when I'm blacked out drunk. <laughs> That's what hey, I'm my saying. My son wants to say hey, hi. Do you guys care? Uh, yes. Yeah, bring oh, one yes. your kids yes. on. Let's see them. Come here, man. Come Throw them on to the this not safe for work son. public uh, <laughs> broadcast. Keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. Hi there. Hey. hey, buddy. Hey, you almost have your dad's hair. You're actually better dressed than your father, too. You've got, oh. like, an ascot. He has, no, like, this gator is... boy hair. Or that's the gator. I think that's He's wearing, a like, mask. a gator. Yeah. It's a gator thing? Skater. I think so. Skater boy. Oh, okay. It's a skater gator. <laughs> what, what's, what's your name? Uh oh, we can't hear him all of a sudden. Henry Macklin. Henry Hen Macklin. Henry Macklin. Mac. Mac. Henry, you have really cool hair. I wish like I could have hair track. like you. Yeah, show him your hair, Greg. That's a cool haircut. Greg, quickly show him your hair so he knows what not to do with his hair ever. <laughs> there it is. That's what happens when you put a lot of brown cotton balls on top of your head. Don't don't dye your hair too much because uh, right. you'll end up like that. <laughs> I dyed my hair once in my life. Only once. Mm -hmm. okay. Even though I was a punk rocker my whole life. I only dyed my hair once. <laughs> also, don't listen to people who have squids on their head. That's almost like mine. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't listen to squid people either. That's the no. other thing. Henry, how old are you, Henry? I'm nine, almost ten. Yeah, if what, the fish in those be? aquariums start talking to you, don't listen. What do you want to be when you grow up, Henry? Uh oh, he went silent again. Wait, what was that, Henry? Say it again. A baseball player or a football player? Nice. nice. Go with your favorite baseball player. Go with baseball. It pays better, less brain damage. Yeah, and less work. <laughs> you just can sit around in the... What's what it, it called, called, Greg? The, What's the it called, Greg? Pen? The ballpoint? <laughs> the dugout? The ballpoint. The dugout. That's what I was looking for. He hangs Thanks out in the ballpoint. <laughs> the, ball, the ball pen, I was going to say. <laughs> There's a ballpoint in every dugout, Greg. They use that to write down people's scores. Yes. <laughs> what position do you play in baseball, Henry? I have, like, three ones I usually play. I play short, short stop. Pitcher yeah. and um, catcher. Greg plays short spot with his ball point. Okay, <laughs> Matt, shut up for a second. I'm talking to the kid. What <laughs> position do you like the best? Which one do you think pitcher, you're best at? Uh, I think I'm best at shortstop, but I like the most like catcher. He he's the best at, at hitting. He's a lead, he's a leadoff batter. He's the lead off batter fast, so he gets on base. I mean, his on base percentage is. Yeah, uh, over a thousand. So, I'm That's curious what your on base percentage is, Billy. But we probably have to take the headphones off the kid to start talking about that. <laughs> yeah, what we're not talking about is I've only I mean, ever got second base. <laughs> no, no how did you have? Good. How did you have well, kids? That's a, a stop. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to our. This is our show. Well, there was I got a kid say, on though, it. So he's a good baseball player because I know I know nothing about sports, but I know that when you suck at baseball, you're right field because that's what I was all yeah, through my no, little league. I was right field because I was the worst player. No, all those positions are great, but why not first base, Billy? Um. So, well, uh, he's a righty. Um, uh -huh. 
And so we try to go lefties at first, but also he's, um, he's better at other positions. Um, there's, there's certain uh, things you look for in a first baseman. Um, uh, not only, I mean, you want him a little bit taller, you know, um, but also a lefty and he's short and a right-handed you know um oh he's is he is he shorter than some of the other boys his age yeah uh yeah three and a half inches yeah. tall <laughs> yeah uh, yeah now, his older thing. brother um is like uh like the biggest kid in his grade and then mac is on the, uh, a little bit smaller so yeah i had two boys i had I, my oldest boy is literally a foot taller than me at this point he's like six four six five and my other a foot growing out of the top of his head. Is yeah, and then my other son, I'm just going to ignore Matt at this point. My other son, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, is is much more my size. He'll probably be, you know, five eight, five nine. But um, yeah, so anyway, I, but I, but I was I a hope. football dad. I wasn't a baseball dad, so I, I can't say I. Welcome know that much to Proud Dad Division here on this podcast. I now. really hope my kids are taller than I am because yeah, I'm like five seven and five eight, and I fucking hate it. I mean, oh, that's don't that bad. I, I that's mean, not bad. That's average, dude. That's I, like yeah. normal white guy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> normal white guy says five foot eight. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you very much, Billy, for, five for coming on. With a 10 foot pole. Yeah. So, <laughs> for your tent. <laughs> So uh, thank you, Billy, for coming on. I hope it uh, matched all of your hopes and dreams by coming on to the show, the law offices of Quibble, Squabble, and Bicker. And I Does hope anybody your have luck anything gets else? Better, Billy. What was that, Greg? I hope oh your God. luck gets better. He has been making his own luck recently, Greg. Have you know. noticed that the last bad thing happened in like 2014 or something? So he's had a really good stretch so far. I think he's doing all right. But, anyway, you know, uh, go ahead, Greg. What? I'm just going to say, like, I read your history and I was like, you're like Job from the Bible. Like, you <laughs> went through a lot of shit. So I'm yeah. glad you made it through it. Thank you for that. And you still believe you're doing well. Thank you. All right. So anything else, Squid? Do you Would you like to add anything, Squitter? Uh, good luck with your boys. Be a good dad. It, it pays off in the end. My boys are both they're 21 and 24 now. So well, don't be a piece guys. of shit. If you guys, uh, yeah, if you guys uh, ever uh, want to have me back on, let me know. Okay, yeah, right, for sure. Outside. What is that clicking noise? It's been going yeah. on for a while. That's somebody has a. It's not me. Yeah, mm. he, he wants to say bye. Uh oh. Bye. bye. Thanks for coming bye, on. Henry. Bye, Henry. All right, this has been the law offices of Quibble, Squabble, and Bicker. Your consultation with the law offices of Quiddle, Squabble, and Picker has ended. You may pay your retainer at www.qsblah.org. Please exit to the right of the water cooler and grab a candy from the front desk. We hope to see you again soon, but you need to leave now. I said leave. Why don't they ever listen? Get out. Get out. <laughs>